In the very first event in Japan for the Capcom Pro Tour 2021, we saw Mago take it over Tokido to become the first of the four representatives of their region for the season's Capcom Cup. And now that they've had their second event, just who among their competitors will be joining Mago? Let's find out. To start things off, let's take a quick look at the players who made it out of their pools to reach top 16. Down in losers, we've got Uzura, Shuto, Daigo, Torimasi, Nemo, Dogura, Moke, and Gachikun. Then up in winners, Momochi, Gucci, Sako, John Takeuchi, Zabeth, Crusher, and to round out their top 16, Eita and Bonchan. Although it's undeniable that Eita is one of the best Kens out there, Bonchan would show us how ineffective the character is against his Sagat, forcing Eita to rely on his set instead. Is that and the pursuit afterwards? Ooh! That link just going right into the Tiger Overcome like that? That's it. This dude Bonchan is ridiculous again. Converges all day. Stop thinking you can do anything. I just had all the ranges to stuff out any jump. Yeah. That was three fourths of the screen, man. Yeah, exactly. That was like, he tried to bait out something like that, right? He tried to bait out an anti air doing an axe kick from that far. Oh, too far. Yeah, let him off easy, actually. Just one normal. Man, Bonchak gonna let him live for now, but you know, once again, the beast stand medium kick, this time for Sagat. 2 0 for Bonchan. And he will be returning tomorrow in top eight winner side as Eita drops him. After losing to Bonchan, Eita would head down to the second round of losers top 16 alongside Crusher and Tori Messi. Using Dalsim's reach to bait out Birdie's chains, Tori Messi would go in at the precise moment when Crusher would try to attack with Birdie's range special. But although Tori Messi was doing quite well with his pressure, as the match went on, Crusher would get a sense of his opponent's rhythm, putting a stop to Tori Messi's offense with some jab checks and start his counter attack from there. So he's just going, oh my goodness, once again, the Limbo Champion. <laughs> it's, it's not too low, boy. <laughs> Nothing's too low, boy. He is just on her knees. Over here, this is a dangerous situation. Oh, Man! No. And what a move to get the get the sun with. No back in it. I like the using of the EX bullhead. Or bullhorn, excuse me. Yeah. Oh, the landing in front has an advantage of the back tech. Oh, yes. Oh, slipping on a pixel here. Tori Messi has made. Oh my Ooh. goodness. Okay. Ugh. My bad. Yeah, there's still, you know, a block should go through after the back medium kick. Oh. Oh, finds a jump in just raw. Just the jumping medium punch all the way up. There he does. Get the throw past the view reversal. Oh, that's. Oh. What? Oh, what? God. What do you mean? <laughs> we have to cross the heavy punch. Oh. Take the pace. Oh, that is no. huge for Crusher. Ugh, look at that damage. And still gets an OT. Okay, Missed okay. times the back though. Tori Messi gets a throw for himself. And look at that. Just reaches on over into the pocket of Birdie. The final oh, yeah. round. The final round, I just think, of these individuals. Stops it in a shot there. Tori Messi, yeah, he's going to start to mix the game off that knockdown. Great throw on the EX reversal attempt. Oh, oh no, man. you're reaching. Wow, he did it again. Oh, and he actually caught the drill. Oh, headbutt. Uh, that could have been a throw either way, but that's so great. Oh, you slid Woo! into the cross -up. You're stunned. It's, it's going to be close. It's a lot of damage here. Yeah, that's huge scaling at the end. Oh, oh no. Yeah. Crusher in his name going for the skull. After eliminating Tori Messi, Crusher would qualify for top eight losers alongside Eita, whom he would then eliminate, and John Takeuchi, who would bow out of the tournament after losing to Momochi. Then up in winners, Bonchan, who sent Zabeth down to the loser's bracket, and Sako, who would do the same to Higuchi. After losing to Sako, Higuchi would head down to the loser's quarterfinal to go against Crusher. Now facing a zoning character who actually sticks to zoning, Crusher seemed to find this match a little more challenging this time around. But as excellent as Higuchi's keep away game may be, with Crusher's reactions coupled with Birdie's tools that can go through projectiles, it was looking like Guile's booms that impose that much of a threat. Take this! I know I'm losing the battle right now, but I won the war. Exactly. Uh, uh. The psychological war. It's not over yet. Man, how many steps did he just take? Is it on his counter? Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, no, oh, anti-air. It's too close for comfort. Higuchi taking the first game to pick up on that. But this is great. That bullhorn, excellent time to use it. But man, Higuchi taking the big risk, giant reward now, getting himself out of the corner. All momentum in his favor. This is going to be a full corner carry with a reset. Yeah, that EX oh, flash kick that landed was everything. Netting him this full reward, got him in the corner now. Oh my goodness, and Crusher is going to lose the round off of that. Oh yeah. No bubbles up here. Great stuff from Higuchi now, and we spit that on the street. 
Sonic Boom pressure to keep him locked down here. No health remaining in terms oh. of visual, but he's not gonna need any health. EX Dolphin Dive once again. That is definitely one of Birdie's primary tools to make it past the Sonic Boom. Again, Suplex from in the corner. One more will do it. Activation does it appear. Virtual still stuck in the first spot he was in. In this corner, trying to counter. Poke away though! Huge. Caught the start of the Sonic Boom. Lost the second one here. Hibuchi trying to sneak in that dash of couch light. Well, well, if he hits Dolphin Dive, actually kill him? It'll get close. I think it'll put him on life support. And now Crusher does have two bars available, right? So it's definitely lingering in the back of his mind. You can see Hibuchi not too low. Three points with the Sonic Boom because of that. He's keeping his spots here and there. Oh, that's actually huge. Ooh. I told you! I was just about to say, that is absolutely huge because if he Sonic Booms, he's going to get Dolphin Dome. Yeah. Rough one for Crusher here. Big punish already bullied into the corner as well. You see what Higuchi with so much space, he's more than willing to let Crusher walk out a little bit. Guile got all that room to work with, and we see the view reverse on the activation yet again. And you see him pump fake with the stand jab this time. He wants to see if Crusher's going to bite. Now it's full control for Higuchi. This is huge, actually. Pushes towards the corner a little bit more. That could have been another horn. Ooh. Did you lock down? Just stay inside with enormous. Oh, but throws him out of the bullhorn. Put that away. The last dragon suplex will do the job. Higuchi moves on to three to two. After eliminating Crusher, Higuchi would do the same to Momochi and proceed to the loser's final. We would have to face the loser of the winner's final match between Bonchan and Sokka. Though it may not be as strong as it once was, Minot's heavy punch is still very effective at keeping her opponents away. But against a very mobile character like Karin, there's only so much Minot's heavy punch can do to stop Karin from finding a way in. To deal with. Now that the orb is so far away, it's like, oh, he tried to get his turn back right there. But Sokka Noko doing a great job of keeping himself out of harm's way against Karen's explosiveness. That's exactly what we're looking forward to, right? Whether or not Bon Chan is going to open up Sakunoko, and if Sakunoko could weather the storm. Exactly, and he's doing a great job of that right now, right? Really made it out of the toughest situation he found himself in in that corner. Just wake up with a button and then prioritizing the recall rather than anything else. Oh boy. Beautiful. Hey, that is nasty. Stop against the shoulder. The Orochi did not come out of time. The back throw, pretty significant, right? Bonchan resetting the situation. Now pushing Sako into the corner without threat of stun any longer. But this is going to be tough. Sakonoko is still able to manage his control, right? At least control his pace against Bonchan because of the light lead. But oh, Bonchan with the move for that time. Yeah, just the fact that Bonchan got back in here and now he's going to be able to take that life lead with a throw bait. You're dead if you get thrown. Oh my goodness, and he takes for his life, but it doesn't matter. Just staying persistent. Great up. Right before she landed, actually got the EX so aware. Yeah. Still, this has been Bonchan's world. Sako just living in it for now. I'd watch that YouTube series. Hell yeah. Oh boy, yeah, going for the risky stuff after the Guren, Guren can Going for the, the throw option. Wow, and just, yeah, closing the distance with that V skill. Oh my goodness! Are you dead? Oh, oh boy, this is the perfect time to ask, is it gonna kill? <laughs> Put some more life support here. Oh, and the empty jump throw. You were so worried about all the orbs, and I can't blame you. You gotta be. Some good awareness there. Yeah, then that's why Saga, you see, you need to stand medium punch instead. Already a little bit more wary of where he can use that stand. Here's the V shift to avoid that and a huge punish. Are you serious? Side swat on top of it. He's been bullying with that V skill as well. He's been getting to V trigger quickly because of it. Oh, and the Oh my gosh! Sako with a clean whip, but it feels a raw EX. Give me them legs, bro. I like them heels. I'll take them home with me. After losing to Sako, Bonchan would head down to the loser's final where he would then be eliminated by Higuchi. Higuchi would then advance to the grand final to get his rematch against Sako and to determine their region's second representative for the season's Capcom Cup. Great side, great block the first time now. The rest of the order incoming. Watch out, don't get throw baited. Out of Sakuno, who just could jump in here. He let one go. Oh, and then one more for the cross. Not a big combo, though. It was, a moment. it was a very shallow orb, actually. Oh, he just let the orb go for the anti air into the critical arm. Why is he so good? Still got one orb to his name. That's all he needs an orb and a dream. Oh, okay, well, he doesn't have an orb anymore. Oh, what? but my man is still dreaming of that Capcom Cup, and he has been ever so close to it.
Combo, yes, sir. Try to even shimmy, and then he had the orb right there. Any way to protect himself? Oh, you're dead. Oh, you're he actually dead. Protection. You're yeah, dead. you got to get out now. It's too late at this point. You're going to get chipped. He's going to live. Oh. Gucci, he smells blood. I don't blame him. Dash up forward, but Sako's still very disciplined not to get caught. Oh, what? Yo, the activity on the recall caused the trade. That was a, a great conversion afterwards from Sako too. It's just wild how his brain is so ready for these wild scenarios. Whoa, okay, doesn't actually convert that one properly though. Yeah, but Gucci's got him in the corner here, so gotta weather the two orbs. Oh boy, still oh, the second oh, one. No, but doesn't get a full conversion. They wouldn't have killed either way, but now Gucci. Silence for blood, now in the lead, two to one. Semi set. Oh boy, yeah, that is a punish with the orb. Two more to follow, but man, still not in time to get a conversion. Does get a slight reset, but mi very minimal damage. But Gucci could actually make this happen. If he gets a counter hit to Critical Art or spots a gap in any strength, he could take it. Oh, instead just dashing up after the orb release. Super good stuff. Haguchi reversing the fate of the winner semi set where Sako Noko took it three to one. Now here in Grand Finals, resets the bracket, has the chance for a Capcom Cup birth. Oh, wow. Yeah, there, so the range dashes up and set for the open. Didn't have a card in the thing. Oh, huge jump in timing for Haguchi there. No spending the critical art. You want to make sure it happens on a kill. Oh, that happens huge. No orb for you. That's the smart stuff from the Gucci there. At this point, he has all the resources you could possibly want. We oh, no. Oh, no. Critical art. Oh, okay. Well, I'm surprised he didn't just do it right there, Gucci. I guess they. Oh, wait till he Drill? Jumps. Drill? Oh. He does have full stuff loaded. Yeah, I was Ooh. wondering when the reversal CA was coming, man. And Higuchi was just non-stop aggression at that point. This is huge, though. Hard knockdown here. v trigger on deck. What's going to be the, the play here for Sakonoko now? He's going to look for a way to get a trigger activation. But Higuchi just needs one hit. Willing to take that risk. That is so smart in forcing that trade. From he does spend the bar also, but it's looking like Higuchi's going to get the better exchange from the 501. He had to reset the timing. Now getting himself into the trigger activation. This is tough for Higuchi, but Critical Art is on deck. Nice. That's a good amount of damage. Oh, oh no! What? Double man, I'm all gone! Yeah, Higuchi. Yeah, with that block, he actually goes for the universal instead. Oh, oh my god! It's over, Higuchi! Qualifies for Capcom Cup off the wrong Critical Art! So that's it for the second event in Japan for the Capcom Pro Tour 2021. Congratulations to Gucci for becoming one of the representatives of the region for this season's Capcom Cup. Next up, we'll have United Kingdom and Ireland, so make sure you own the sound deck. Check out the links below for more Capcom Pro Tour news and information. Also, if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, don't forget to show your support by leaving a like, sharing it with your fans, and by subscribing so you won't miss out on the latest recap from my channel. That's it for me for now. Until next time.